Hi, I'm DJ and welcome back for another video in our Behringer Wing tutorial series. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, I'll have those linked down below in a playlist. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the DCAs and buses in the console. So let's get started. We're going to start with DCAs. So on the wing, we have double the amount of DCAs than the X32 series. So we go from 8 DCAs to now 16. Now what is a DCA? It stands for Digitally Controlled Amplifier, and you can basically think of this as a remote volume fader for whatever you link to it. So if you link a channel to it and its fader is at negative 10 dB, and the DCA is at zero, or also known as unity, the channel will still be at negative 10 dB. Then let's say you turn the DCA down by negative 5 dB. The sum of those two amounts will be negative 15 dB, and that will be what the final level of the channel is being sent out to the console. Now what can you link to a DCA? Well, on this console, basically anything. Any of the input channels, any format of mix buses, pre, post, or subgroup, matrixes, and even all four of the main buses. This can even become your new master fader if you're using multiple of the main buses and you want to control their overall volume. You can just link whatever main buses you're using to a DCA, and then that DCA will now control them. Now let's link some sources to the DCAs. First, the DCAs can be accessed on the center and right fader sections when in the DCA layer, and then on any user layers when they are assigned to those user layers. To link a source to a DCA, hold down the select button on the DCA, and then tap the sources select button and it should start blinking. You can get an overall view for what is linked to each DCA by either hitting the view button on the fader section where the DCA is active, or hitting the meters page and either hitting DCA 1 through 8 or 9 through 16 on the bottom right. This will give you a full view of all the input channels, buses, matrices, and main buses that are assigned to the DCAs. In the same area, you can customize the name and color for the DCAs by hitting the first block where it has the DCA name, and then hitting customize. And that of course gives you the same customizable options, the name, uh, the icon, and the color. Now let's talk about buses. This is also an upgrade over the X32 series, since we now have 16 stereo buses versus the 16 mono buses. So compared to the X32, when you wanted to use stereo in-ears, you had to sacrifice a second bus just for those ears, but on the wing, every bus is stereo, so when you are using mono stage wedges, stereo in-ears, subgroups, and effect sends, you don't have to fight on what buses you can use. To get into the settings of the buses, just tap on one of the groups of buses in the meters page, or hit the view button on the fader sections when the buses are in the active layer. The name block is where you can change the color, icon, and name, just like on any other channel or source. The next block down is where you're gonna see the bus mode. So this is how you're using the bus, whether it be pre-fader, post-fader, or subgroup, as well as the mono option and phase invert. Pre-fader is primarily used for monitor mixes, Post fader is mainly used for effects sends. Subgroups are similar to DCAs, except you can do processing on the bus and the audio actually flows through this bus. Depending on the mode you have the bus set as, pre, post, or subgroup, it will pull the signal from different points in the channel strip. Pre fader is defaulted as pulling the signal in between the compressor and EQ, and this can be changed in the buses block on the channel strip view at the top left in a section called pre tap. And then post fader and subgroup just pulls the signal after the fader level. Now to send channels to a bus, select the bus and then hit the sends on fader button labeled SOF flip at the top of the layers in the center fader section. Now this sets the input faders to mix just like how you mix the master fader, except you're sending the channel to the bus instead. You can also mix one channel to many buses by selecting the channel while sends on fader is active. And now for each bus that you would like to send the channel to, just slide the bus fader up to the desired level. The processing we can do on each bus is a compressor, a pre-fader insert, the main bus page, EQ, and post-fade insert, which is mainly used for our effects like verbs, delays, and such. For pre and post-fader, the main bus page isn't really used, but when the bus is being used as a subgroup, this is one of the options to get the bus out to the mains. Subgroups are typically used in two different ways. One way is parallel processing. And to do this, all the channels that you send to the subgroup stay assigned to the main bus, and then the processing is applied to the bus. And then you bring that bus back into the mix. The other way to use the subgroup is just like a DCA. 
except now you need to unassign the channels from the main bus, and then you gotta bring back this bus into the mix. And then you also have processing that you can apply to it as well. There's two ways to bring the bus back into the main mix. One is gonna be to go to the actual bus channel strip, and then go down to the main uh, bus page. This, you can turn on and off which bus you wanna send it to, and that brings it back into the mix. The other way is to make the bus act like a regular input channel. In this, we go to routing, and then go to the channels page. You hit the source group box on the source side, and then select bus, and then whatever bus that you're using, you can then set as an actual input source on the console. My suggestion is, if you're just needing a overall volume fader for a group of channels, go ahead and use DCAs, unless you absolutely need the channel processing on that bus, or you're going to use parallel processing. That's going to be it for this video. Like I said, if you haven't seen any of the others and you want to catch up, I'll have the playlist linked down below. But thank you so much and see you in the next one.